Hey, so, how'd you like the end of that last episode? It's pretty interesting. Well, I did go on multiple off-camera cave-in trips, so I've recovered at least the majority of the things I've lost. I just have to, at some point, go back in and regain the nether items. But, uh, I've recovered about 90% of the stuff I lost, so it's, it's fine. Alright, so, uh, hey, I'm back on Minecraft Vanilla for the first time in, like, two and a half weeks, or not two and a half weeks, but, like, a week and a half. Um, and so today, I did a small amount of off-camera work, because I decided, even though there's a couple things I still need to build around here, uh, I'm gonna start branching out a little bit and start working on, like, other bases and stuff like that, so... Uh, so today, I worked on this, I, I made this little bridge here, well, little, it's huge, but I built this bridge that comes all the way out here, and I've started building this road that goes down the hill here, and so what my plan is, is to have this go down to like here, and then go 90 degrees to the left, and go down, and the path will eventually go through this little thing I put in between the trees, and go across a bridge that goes over the go to a bridge that goes over to this river, and from there there will be another path, and that will go like another hundred or so blocks, whatever that is, and then it will connect with the mesa that's up there. And I forgot to turn my game music back on. Uh, but yeah, it's just gonna be a long, long path that'll eventually go into the Mesa, where I will start building a little, um, kind of Mesa base? Uh, well, yeah, Mesa base, but that, that base is gonna be one that will mostly just be, like, for show. Like, I was looking around and watched some videos, and I was thinking, like, you know what? Um, the Mesa would be a really good place for, like, a old, like, Wild West kind of town. So, that's what I'm gonna eventually put over there. So, today, I'm just gonna be cutting this all down. Actually, wait. Um, put the dirt there. Um, this will probably will take a a fat minute to get fully worked out, but um, once I do get it worked out, it'll be all nice. Um, okay. Okay. And then I think I'll put that in there. Hmm. Uh, I'll do that and that. I specifically went out and got a bunch of dirt and stuff for this specifically. And I think, like, right around here... is where I will start having this go off to the left. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. Maybe I, I'm going to cut this tree down. I'm going to see what it would look like if I put stairs in. That's torches. And Mouse had some slight issues there, but... Uh, yeah. So it'll be like a big thing of wood. Or, yeah, a bunch of wood, not many, like... What are these even called, like... Whatever this kind of grass block is. There we go, this works really well. 
And so with that, make that look a little more natural. Put up some torches so the path is lit up. And then slap that down. And that. So a bunch of mobs. Oh, I do have the shark. I do have this shark tooth sword. I took like sideways knockback from that. That was actually really close, but. All worked out in the end. I think I might actually end up using the stairs more than I was originally thinking I would. Excuse me? That was weird. Okay. Well, yeah, I, so I do need to cut down another tree in order to have the right amount of wood. I didn't even realize I had apples on me. Probably would also be a good idea to not be working on this at night. Is that it for that? Okay. If my mouse stopped having, like, weird tracking issues, that'd be nice. I probably honestly need to just replace the battery. That's probably the issue. Right around here, I think the big staircase would honestly be uh, useful instead of trying to do the... Uh, that thing. Excuse me. Stop falling down every two seconds. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So right here, there'll just be the big staircase. It'll go down until it's flat. There'll probably be another one once I get down to there. Uh, so, yeah, part of this hill here is entirely artificial, not natural in the slightest. Um, oh yeah, that's gonna need dirt, or it's gonna look extremely bad. There, as long as this thing stays lit up, that's all I really care about. Um, I can't... These two I want to be done like that, but the one in the back is fine the way it is. Okay. You'd think after all this time I'd know how to place stairs properly, but you know. Okay, so that's it in terms of that. Let's work on a path that goes to, uh, yeah, to here. <clears throat> these down for wherever I'm going to put a torch. Mm. 
<clears throat> okay, and then right here, I think I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna need way more stairs, because I'm gonna have another staircase, but on top of that, I'm gonna have this one go down at an angle. So, let's see. How much wood would I need for this? I don't need the gunpowder. Uh, let's see, I have stuff in the chests at home, so I'm gonna go crack those open. At least this gives a nice idea of how lit up it'll be at night once I get this finished. So yeah, I have the diamond tools and everything, but still just rocking full iron armor. Even though I was, ro I was using three-fourths diamond at the end. I will sleep, though, to get rid of this rain. And there's Grum. <clears throat> okay. How much stuff do I even have in here? That's the main question. 27. I'll just use that so I can... Excuse me. Fifteen? That really doesn't make a lot. Oh wait, I have a stack in fifteen, okay. I don't know how I didn't see the full stack there initially. Just make that so I can take that off, because I don't really like having the shield in my hand unless I'm just going out mob hunting. Because, I mean, the shield just takes up a bunch of space on the screen. Never been a big fan of it. Um, I honestly might have to, have, have to just come back later and replace these with, with these with grass blocks. Because it doesn't look super ugly. Okay. Might as well just use these up first. Yeah, that's the first row. And then this will go down for quite a ways. This honestly might not even be enough what I have here. Oops. Okay, so clearly, clearly I need to be up here when I'm putting the stairs on. Hmm. Well, I will need to put in dirt eventually anyway, so I think I'll just do that. Okay, it's coming along fine. But I think I'll do this, and this will probably save me um, 
some stairs and also maybe time. Just do this uh, so I can eventually work it down and <clears throat> uh, make this look a little more natural. Again, another spot that I'll probably just have to come through and replace with the, uh, grass blocks. Wow, I'm really just blowing through this dirt. All the way at the bottom, almost almost at the bottom though, so that's that's cool. There, let me just get some of my dirt back at least. Yeah, it's probably going to look like super unnatural for a little bit, and then later on I'll come back and kind of polish it up. Make it look way better. Now I'll, uh, I meant to do just those. Yeah, I really have just used up all the dirt. Out of slabs as well. Let's go back in here where the trees are a little thicker and it won't stand out more. Let's cut a few more of these down. I don't really know how I'm gonna do the bridge. That's one question I don't have an answer for right now. I, I'm thinking about this like it's Sky Factory, practically. Being like, okay, so I'll just get on my portable crafting table, and I'll just make the thing. When, in fact, I can't do that, because 
This is vanilla, not modded. There, just kind of go all over the place. There we go. Oop. There. <clears throat> do I want this bridge to go at an angle, or do I just make it go straight like that way? Or even that way? That's probably the one I'm not gonna do. So. <laughs> okay. And from here, I'll have this go that way. Oh wait, no. There has to be slabs. And I don't- okay, well. Let's just go over here, grab a few pieces of dirt. That's a slab. That one over on the left can just become dirt. So then I'll have a bridge. Um, actually, for this in order to work, I'm gonna need a little bit more dirt, so I can build up the edge of that little like. Le uh, so I can just build up the edge there, then I can build off of a square space. There we go, and then right here I'll have a bridge that'll go straight that way. Okay, I can make more fences if I... or not if, when I will have to. Yeah, that actually works really nice like that. Oh wait, I do have coal.
set these up along the sides. Ooh, hey. Let's go away from the path before I fight you. I do have this bow. Nice power three. Want you up against the road. There we go. Now it's all nice and lit up. So now if I am ever at... I guess I'll take the ink sacks. So if I, once I get it all set up, if I'm over ever walking home from the mesa, I have this nice long path that goes all the way up here and up this giant hill. And then eventually goes and connects with the big bridge, which goes to the thing, which then goes into the mountain house. It's just one long path. Um, ooh, well, I don't know if I, I don't really know what I, what I could do with bone meal right now. So the problem is that if I have this, I don't really want to light up much around the path because then it's gonna, uh, gonna make it look weird lighting-wise. And I still haven't entirely figured out what I want to do and how I want to build this bridge. Because, I mean, it's gonna be quite long. In fact, I'll even set up, like, things, like where we'll connect to this land. There, that's where it'll eventually land on here. And then, as you can see, it'll just go uh, ways this direction before it eventually comes over this little hill here, and boom, there's the mesa. This is why I said I probably shouldn't be working on this at night. Oh, you dropped a potato. There's a mace right here. I've already set up a chest here because I decided when I move into the mesa officially, like once I start going into red sand and all that, I'm going to be using like coarse dirt and I'm also going to use regular dirt and stuff. There'll be a long road because out here there's a huge mesa. Um, honestly, one of the things I could do is. Because I'm still trying to decide where do I even put this, like, wet... Excuse me. It's like, where do I even put the Wild West Village? Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make, like, an entire, like, town. And there are villages nearby, so using some various methods. Um, once I get the town constructed, I'm then going to also transport some villagers into the Wild West town. Have them live there. And I lit up that little cave thing. Uh, let's see, but for now... I'm just glad that I at least extended this road by quite a ways. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can even like see the big bridge from out here. I wonder, what does it look like if I up the render distance? Oh yeah, you can, you can just see it fully, but I do kind of like the view fog. So there you go. Like I, I could literally just use this. And boom, there you go. That's... That's my thumbnail there. Because it, it looks good in the darkness. I could... And it goes so far out, too. And I'll get even more stuff done with it. Uh off-camera and in future episodes. I think next time, honestly, just because I've been really excited to start working on the Mesa part of this whole thing, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing next episode. So let's see, I'm going to dump everything I have into chests, just so I can open up inventory space and start working on that. I've already used up, like, a full, like, 20% of this shovel's durability just doing that. So who even knows how the next part's gonna go? Probably gonna end up breaking the shovel. So what I mean by that is like, here you go, I have like a stack of diamonds now instead of like 35. And I have a lot of redstone and a decent amount of lapis. This is the area I'm kind of struggling on though, it's like coal. I have more iron and gold and I have a copper chest now. In fact, actually, let's do that. This is mob drops. And, yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to do some more stuff off camera and in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.